it's me again. And this is like take two of this video. So I started this video at five o'clock this morning. It was close to five o'clock. It was like four forty-five. And then I edited it, and then I was trying to upload to YouTube for like the past half hour. Um, and that post got deleted. So there was originally a Reddit post, and this guy went to CES. This guy went to CES, and uh, he said he spoke with Ken Rice, but the information that he gave sounded very like official PR-ish, and a lot of people question him on this information. And then it was deleted thereafter on Reddit. So was this fake news or not? Um, you know, it, it sounded very like official PR-ish. And in my previous video that I finished, I was questioning that too. And I was citing it with what we knew in official PR, such as um, we are aware that the shares are all going into oil co sometime soon. Uh, we also know that Torchlight and Metamaterials in their latest Q quarter filing, the Q3 filing, they stated that they were committed, on page 12, they were committed to selling the asset. And I'll put it right here. They were committed to selling the asset. And then again, the amount on the oil co shares there's a preferred share and the preferred shares do match the hold back dividend amount of 10 percent there's 250 million oil co shares and 25 million preferred shares and that matches the hold back amount and you do have a hold back amount if there is a sale so there's evidence of the sale still this could be a Dr. Pepper case, and I cited that again, where you get shares and cash as well. Or you could have the option to cash out, like the company will buy your shares from you. They'll do a share repurchase. Uh, you know, if it is a private VC company, they might do an equity repurchase. We will see. And then if you want to hold, you can or you can cash out if you'd like. Um, that's a possibility as well. So with that being said, I'm not going to go too much further into it because, you know, it was what one person said. They could have been telling the truth. They could have not been telling the truth. Uh, there was no other a witness account to it. And it did sound, you know, rather official PR-ish, which then got deleted by the mods. Maybe they talk to this person. But we're going to go. Uh, instead, we're going to skip today because oil did touch 80 bucks a barrel. We're going to do uh, the working interest versus revenue interest calculations and when you use either one. All right, we know what the value of the oil is and we know what the value of the torchlight shares are because we have the formula. And based on the next bridge, hydrocarbons website, it was 3.2 billion barrels of oil. Torchlight is entitled to 49% of that. That's their revenue interest. I had somebody ask again what the difference is between the working interest, which is 65.5%. That's your working interest and that's the revenue interest. So working interest means like you pay the bills. That's your percent of the business ownership. You pay the bills. This is percent of like your take home, what you get when you sell the oil. And if this part we're selling the oil because you have other stakeholders at hand. You have the royalty owners like university lands is the royalty. University lands doesn't pay anything on the regs or they just get royalties and the lease agreement amount. Um, Hence, they have 0% working interest, but University Lands has 20% revenue interest. McCabe has Magdalena. Magdalena has 0% working interest, but 4.5% revenue interest. And then there's a half percent of different other parties involved for revenue interest royalties. So that's the difference. If 100% of the mineral rights transfer, 
then Torchlight gets this much. But if the sale is based on, let's say, 70%, 75%, no, this is hard to say. None of the big royalty holders want to sell. University doesn't want to sell their royalties. McCabe doesn't want to sell his royalties with Magdalena. So then it would be, you know, 65%. That's, but they both wind up working to be a pretty similar, pretty close. So, um, it depends who buys what. I know some properties come with 100% mineral rights or all parties will sell all their mineral rights with enough cash. Some want to retain. Okay, well, given this formula, like I said, my conviction on the dividend, how much it was worth is 29 to $46. I've done the math. I know how much that dividend is worth with the cash value given the oil, how much the rights are worth. 29 to $46 a share. Oil is what? It's at 79, 80 bucks a barrel this morning. Let's see what the price of WTI is this morning. It just at 80 bucks a barrel. So it has touched $80 a barrel today. We'll see when the market opens. But it's cold today and right now it's at 80 bucks a barrel. Um, we know what the oil is worth. So if you do base it on the 80 mark, and we go 3.2. And once again, um, I'd also like to cite that if you look at the oil co-holdings, there's that 10%, which matches the holdback dividend amount. If there's a cash sale that they're, you know, 250 million oil co shares, 25 million preferred shares, that sort of matches the holdback amount if there was a sale. So there's still evidence, guys, for a sale if the conversation with Ken Rice is true. Um, then it, it seems like it would be cash and shares, but we will see. Um, it also might be that you might get a little bit of cash now and then something later. As well, there's remember Torchlight had the two properties, <clears throat> it had the Hazel property, which we don't know if McCabe and Masterson exercised their rights to that. You can find the contracts for it, but not if they exercise their actual rights to it. And then, um, if they did exercise their rights, then they got it for a really good price. If they didn't exercise the rights, then it went to full retail sale. Uh, so we'll see, but let's do the math. So we know how much our shares are worth at $80 a barrel. We'll go by the next bridge, 3.2 billion barrels of oil. This might be slightly more cost of goods sold. I'm going by the 2019 numbers for cost of goods sold. This could have changed for 2020 going into 2022. <clears throat> I know that Continental raised theirs up a few bucks for 2022. Their cost of goods sold, but they're still under that $25 mark. Um, so let's have at it based on, again, the $25 cost of goods sold. Because this is the last known number that we have. Uh, so if it's 80 bucks a barrel, mine is 25 cost of goods sold. I'm not sure about the 2022 version of cost of goods sold. We might have to wait a little bit on that. Or until more studies come out. More public studies. Not private. There's been some sales in the Permian, but they were private. Alright, you have 55 bucks. You, you do that by the multiplier. The 12 to 18 percent. We'll do it by 12 percent because it's a lot of oil. 12 percent. The value of that oil in the ground today is $6.06 .06 a barrel. That's your value of oil in the ground. You know, 80 is your strike price. You have to do cost of goods sold. Okay, then you do a multiplier on that. It's worth $6.6. .6. Torchlight gets 49% of that. And then for their revenue interest out of all the parties involved, you know, that number can change depending if University Lands wants to sell their property rights or not. And then at which point, you know, you subtract it out of the entire number. It's complicated, I know, but we'll just stick with this to be easy. You get, you're left with Torchlight gets $3.23 a barrel oil. That's what Torchlight gets. So we have $3.23. Um, 
times 3.2 billion barrels of oil. And Torchlight gets $10 billion from that sale. That's a lot of dollars. Well, there's a 21% corporate tax rate. You keep 79%. So we multiply it by what you keep, 79%. That's minus the 21% for tax. Minus 10% for that holdback amount. Okay. I'm going to match with that holdback amount. Uh, so you keep 90%. And you're left with 7 point. Three five seven billion dollars. You divide that by the outstanding shares, as confirmed by John Berta to me the other day, and you're left with forty four dollars and fifty nine cents, and that's how much the dividend would be thereabouts. Uh, it might be a little less based on if they change that cost of goods sold or not. We will see. But it's about 44 bucks based on an $80 strike price. You know, it could be less of a strike price. Um, and again, that's if all the rights sell to it. If McCabe doesn't sell his 4.5%, you know, the 25% university doesn't sell their percentages, uh, that number will change. I said the, the price is pretty close. All right. So, if this is how you do it if McCabe, if the if the royalty owners don't want to sell their rights to the oil. If they don't want to sell their mineral rights, this is how you calculate the dividend price. You have 80 minus 25. So, you have 55 times that multiplier, the 12 to 18%, 12%. So, again, $6.6 .6 per barrel of oil in the ground. That's how much the oil is worth right now. I could change later on today, but right now that's how much that oil is worth. Times 3.2 billion barrels. Uh, that's going to give you a sale price of 21%. Now, we have to multiply that by 75%. That's how much we keep. Those royalty owners don't want to sell. They say, no, I don't want to sell. I want royalties. I want to keep my rights to that oil. I'm not selling my rights. I'm going to hold this. Okay, so instead of the sale price being 21, we're going to take out what they have. So the sale price is $15 billion.84. Out of that, now, that's Torchlight's rights without the royalty holders. That matches their working interest. So that's when you multiply by the working interest. All right, so $15.84 billion times the Torchlight interest. That's their interest in the business sans royalties. It matches the working interest. They have $10.5336 billion, and then you withhold the takeout money for the taxes, right? You're left with $8.32 billion. Then that holdback dividend, you're left with $7.4 billion dollars. Divide that by the outstanding shares of Torchlight, 165, and the dividend thereabouts about $45 a share. So, like I said, they, they're pretty similar in amounts. Uh, I've done the math many times on, on all these scenarios. Okay, guys, that's my calculation on ooh, prices at 80 bucks a barrel, but I'm still sticking with 29 to 46 is my range. Again, uh, <clears throat> that 44 and 45 is right in this range price. 29 to 46, you know, 35, 34, 35, 82, it depends. Uh, you know, I'll stick with that. That was a $70 strike price. I've, I've marker all over. <laughs> But again, I'll just stick with my my price for now. It gives a little bit more wiggle room, a range. But now you know how you do calculations based on who wants to sell their rights. Uh, do Does University Lands want to sell their rights? I'm not sure. Does uh, McCabe want to sell his royalty rights? Uh, we shall see how this will play out. And again, there was some news on Reddit, but that... It got taken down. The moderators took that down. It did seem very PR-ish, but maybe, you know, that person can reach out to me and we can discuss this because I'm very curious and I'd like to discuss. Um, it may or may not be true. It may be true. It may not be true. I, you know, or they may have misinterpreted what the other person said. We shall see. 
Okay, guys. I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.